Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another day in Steve Basinger Fishing. We're out here at a lake I've never been to. We, uh, we, I, you, you and I, all of us, everybody. We drove down to Lincoln. Uh, never fished any of the lakes around Lincoln. So I thought I'd come down here. You can kind of see the lake over there a little bit. Lake looks really high. I don't know if this is what it's supposed to look like, but I mean, there's a bunch of overhanging trees and flooded stuff which pretty much checks with everything that we've got here around Omaha and Lincoln. So we're going to put the boat in the water. I don't even have the rods out yet, so we're going to put the boat in the water, figure out what we're going to throw, and uh, you guys come along. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll have a pretty awesome day. Maybe we'll catch anything. I like new lakes, so come on, let's go. On a swim jig. Made a little change. I put on this trailer as a gambler easy vibes. Let this little guy go. This trailer is a little gambler easy vibes and uh, something new they just came out with. It has a really flat tail to it and let me tell you this thing is aggressive. Like it's so aggressive like I was just using a just, just an easy swimmer just a bit ago and like it stays pretty streamlined when it's coming through the water but this tail is so aggressive it really like it rocks it back and forth that was probably my second third cast with this thing boom just like that so uh, I think I made a right choice Okay guys, I want to kind of go over what we're doing today. We're frogging. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I know I said I'm going to go out deep, but I, I don't want to. I just want to do this until I know I can't catch them like this anymore. So you can see we got all this pea soup water. I mean, I don't know if you can see these shorts, but it looks like I spilled the world's 
grossest poopy diaper on my pants. So, yeah, the wife's going to love that one. So anyways, I throw, I, I've got two types of frog rods that I use. Primarily, I've been using a shorter rod. This is a Denali Lithium, uh, I believe this is, yeah, 610 Heavy Action Frog Rod, designed specifically for frogs. Now this is what I'm using. I've been using it primarily today because my casts need to be more accurate. And a shorter rod allows you to do this. So what I've been doing for the most part is throwing into these flooded bushes and there's this flooded, I don't know what kind of grass this is or vegetation. It's got big kind of, uh, I don't know, diamond shaped leaves on it. I've, I've seen it before. I don't know my grasses very well. But anyways, uh, I'm throwing this in there and then I'm working it back, not all the way back to the boat, really till just after it gets out of the shade, then I really make another cast. But you need the short rod for that. This is 50 pound Seaguar braid, uh, and then the reel is an Ardent 6.5 to one. I actually would like a faster reel than this. This is just what I got, because uh, I don't got a whole lot of money. So uh, this is what I use, this is what I'm using today, and this is what I use when I need accurate stuff. Now, when people typically think frogging, they're thinking over grass, heavy cover, which this is heavy cover, but over matted vegetation stuff. And I have a rod that's designed for that too. Uh, and this is a Denali Atax. This is a 710, extra heavy, uh, Mississippi River Special or Mississippi River Edition. If you get on their site, they have some that were uh, designed by guys up that fish the upper Mississippi where uh, do a lot of, they do a lot of kind of specialized techniques, but they do a ton of frogging up there specifically in uh, matted vegetation. So I got this rod for that. It's got a little more tip than your typical 710 heavy action. Um, I pair that up with an Ardent 7.3 to one uh, bait caster. Again, a uh, 50 pound braid. You can go up to 65. I don't really think it matters. You just check your line off and 50 pound, 65 pound. If you're breaking it, you had problems with the line in the first place. Uh, I haven't really thrown the big one, the big stick, much today because, again, accurate cast. Every now and then I get to where I'm around that leafy vegetation and it's a field of it, in which case I'll pick this one up. Um, the frog that I've been doing the damage on today is a Terminator. I believe this is called a Terminator walking frog, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know what size it is. I mean, it's comparable to your, like, half-ounce Spros, which is what I normally throw, but... Uh, it feels heavier. It comes off the rod tip really well. Uh, it skips about as well as trying to skip your freaking house. <laughs> so not so good. Um, but it's it's a soft frog. It's you know it's meaty. It sits up sits up fairly high. Whereas a spro kind of sits down like this when it when it walks. This one sits fairly high, which is kind of weird. Typically when they sit like this in the water, they don't want to walk real well, but this one does. It, it walks really well. If I have any one complaint, it seems that it wants to fill up water, fill up with water a little faster than a spro, but it's not so much that I'm just constantly pushing water out of it. So yeah, let's get back after it. Um, we're gonna finish out this pocket and then maybe go look for something else just like it.
That's what I'm talking about. He's still just a little one. But that one gave itself away. Just you know, a couple casts before that, in that very same spot, he kind of came up and swatted at it a little bit. That's, well, I didn't think he'd be all that big, but a lot of times with a frog, you can keep making a repetitive cast, especially when it's some kind of like vegetation, real heavy cover. They'll come back and get it if they never got the hook in the first place. Just sitting still. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I made a, a bad cast. It landed like a ton of bricks. My fish didn't care. I always said I really like the dumb ones, they're my favorite. Okay guys, we're gonna be calling that a day. It is hot, it's hot and the bugs are going nuts. So, turned out to be a pretty good day. It's been, <laughs> I've been waiting all year to finally get on a frog bite and here we are at the end of June before I finally find one. Typically that's a good thing to find in the spring, but I don't know, it just didn't work out for me well this year. Um, but yeah, whole new lake never been here got to catch them on a frog uh, i caught a few on a swim jig and I, I think that's it just two lures that's all i needed so thanks guys for watching don't know when i'll be out again but when i do see you on the water